online auctions will be the death of me. Mizzou be like. Does it go all the way through? We're sending it here at Mizzou. This is what we do. <laughs> Getting her work down. We're out at South Farm doing some uh, tractor club activities. So this tractor is the John Deere 6155R with an IBT transmission. It's actually a really nice tractor. The chisel plow is just an old case 5500 that's kind of been around forever. So these fellows here are just chisel plowing up the uh, tractor pull track so that the captain can have their uh, mud volleyball day out here. Supposedly going to bring out a little international 504 and a six foot disc later on. Oh yeah, this is going to work perfectly. Auto steering with the 6175R, IVT, and the 504 way back from the back. Got about a 12 foot chisel plow and it's working out pretty nice. Oh my gosh, it's a Steiger and a John Deere. They look kind of mean. I think that's the biggest Colta Packer I've ever seen. Now this is the main attraction right here. So it dawned on me halfway through editing that I never actually said that that tractor was a Big Bud 360. Can't believe that slipped my mind. Anyways, back to the video. It's just huge, like massive. Even more massive is the DMI Hydro Wide Plow. That's how tall the tail wheel is. Not every day you get to see something like this. This was sold brand new out of Bakersfield, California. Now I found some real tractors. A 60 with a little grain drill. Very cool. Even has an original John Deere cylinder and small seed box. Barn Series Steiger with a Detroit diesel. Never been this close to one before. Here we go. Kinsey Econofold, eight row. I may not be at home, but that doesn't mean I'm not paying attention to farm stuff. This auction that I'm watching, there's a 12 foot John Deere RWA disc on it that's really nice and would look fantastic behind my 730 diesel. I'm just gonna try my hand at this whole online bidding thing, see how it works out for me. No, I don't need another tractor. 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 Oh, we're getting close. Oh yeah, boys, we got it. Man, it's a beautiful morning. Here we are six days later. Got all my paperwork for my truck so I can drive it legally on the road. I'm gonna put this plate on my truck, then we're gonna hook up the trailer to my pickup, and we're going for a little road trip up into Deep River, Iowa. Let's go. Iowa. I guess in a weird way, this trip is like this pickup going home because this came from Dawson and we're going to Deep River and they're not terribly far away from each other either. Yeah, by the way, I really like this truck. Oh yeah, stoplight. And I'm listening to a cassette tape that my dad made in like the 90s for my grandpa with the Eagles. So that's pretty cool. 
Hey, Dad and Grandpa, can we move here to farm? This is some absolutely beautiful farm ground. Well, this is what I bought. A 12 foot John Deere RWA. All I've got to do to get this on the trailer is pull the tongue out, set that on the trailer, and then we'll set the disc on. The tongue's on the trailer. And even in the, like they don't even grind or anything. I think this is a pretty nice little disc. Someone's going to cut beans today. They got the whole grain train coming. And we are loaded. Let's go. Hey, someone turned the fans on. It's kind of hot. Get it? The fans? Hello, Missouri. It hasn't fell off yet. I have made it to the driveway and it didn't fall off. I see this as an absolute win. Now I have to get it unloaded and get the hitch put back on and I gotta mow the yard. Typical. Yeah, this is only kind of really sketchy. Set it down as quickly as possible. Got a couple minutes here. I'm gonna get the 4320 and move my new to me disc over to the other house. It is hot, my guys. better than a birthday present. Before there was a really big lip right there where you'd have to go up and over it, but now it's one nice smooth transition across the whole thing. She's parked away safe and sound now. Well, boys, this is what three John Deere S780 combines with brand new corn heads look like. Here we go, unfolding for the first time in 2021. We're just gonna show a load or two here this afternoon. Just gotta see how the corn's uh, doing moisture-wise, figure out where we have to dry it or if it's gonna be dry enough to run straight in the bin. This is the first day of many. Hope it's a good one. The wait is over. Harvest 2021 has finally begun for us. And yes, I know we're a little behind. There was some things that was out of our control and there's nothing we could do about it. This corn here isn't the greatest. There are some issues with water. So we got had a poor stand, but the ears that are here look like they're decent size. But to achieve any kind of yield at all, you need a lot of these in an acre. And I think what's out here isn't gonna be real high yielding. Here's an example of the stand not being very good. There's a gap here where about four plants should have been. Over the course of an acre, small gaps like this really do add up and that will absolutely kill your yield. I hear a giant green deer running through the corn. Paging Justin. Ah, there Well, Dad, how's it feel to be started? Uh, long way to go. And yields aren't very good this year, at least on this one. It'll get better on this one. Maybe. Oh, well, it will. But yeah, we'll park before we go down the road. With <laughs> I am the trucker now. All right, see you at home, super trucker. I would drive the other truck over there, but I don't have a lot of experience with loaded trucks. I can move it around empty and drive it down the road empty, but uh, loaded, I don't know. And so another video has come to an end. Next week's video, we're gonna be hitting the corn pretty hard and probably every week after that until who knows when. Thanks for tagging along on my wild and wacky journeys, and I hope that I'll catch you guys on the next one.
Real quick update on the disc. There's like a couple bolts that I'm gonna replace and then I'm gonna grease it. And whenever I get my 730 back, we're just gonna run it. Okay, now the video's actually over. Take care.